The second step for creating a voice thread is the comment step. At this point, VoiceThread opens the first slide for me, and I may choose to comment here, or I can click to another slide and start on any one of them. If I want to see all the slides in my VoiceThread, I can click on the thumbnail grid that I see next to the right arrow. I'm going to do that right now and you'll see that all my slides open. And that's a quick way to jump around to a slide. I'm going to go back to the first slide and then click on comment. You'll see now that VoiceThread has expanded the comment panel and I now have options for leaving my comment. I could click on the telephone to use my phone to make a comment. I could click on the movie camera to use my webcam to leave a video comment. I can click on the record button to use my microphone and my computer to make a comment. I could click on the text or the type button to use my keyboard to type a comment. Or I could click on this arrow icon if I have a pro account and that will give me the option to upload a pre-recorded audio comment. I'm going to go ahead and click on record and leave a comment for my students. This is an introduction to my syllabus. It'll ask me to allow VoiceThread to have permission to access my microphone. So it's important here to click allow. Hello everyone and welcome to the history of still photography online. I hope you're excited about this semester. Your syllabus is a really important document and so I'm going to take a little time here not to read it to you but just to point out some of the most important elements of the syllabus as you uh, read through it this week. First and foremost on the front page you're going to uh, find my access information and it includes my email address as well as my Skype information. Skype is a free account. It's a free download from Skype.com and I really encourage you to check it out if you've never used Skype before. It's a great way to stay in touch with me. You can send me instant messages through Skype or you could speak with me um, through voice or video online with a microphone or a webcam. Students in the past have really appreciated the use of Skype and I always enjoy hearing from my students. You're also going to find my communication policy at the top um, on the left side and that communication policy is really important. I pride myself in responding to your inquiries very quickly. So if you reach out to me and it's been more than 24 hours and you haven't heard from, from me yet, then I want you to assume that I did not get your email and contact me again. Hello everyone and welcome to the history. So I've now listened to a little bit of my comment back and it sounds okay so I clicked save and you'll see that my avatar appears over here on the side and that's what happens when you leave a comment in VoiceThread. So when my students see the VoiceThread they would click on my face and the comment would play back. The final step with a voice thread, if I'm done commenting, I should say that I can easily continue through and leave additional comments or I can go back and do that later. The final step is the share step. 